How's it going, guys? Uh, it's been a while. It's been a week since my last upload. Uh, I know some of you might be confused by the title. Others instantly knew what I'm talking about, but unfortunately, yes, my lack of uploads is for a reason. You see, uh, I fell for the classic baby scam. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the classic baby scam is unfortunately one of the oldest tricks in the book. Uh, I, I didn't know about it, and I fell for it, and it's, it's just been devastating for me and my family. Uh, I'll go ahead and get into it, uh, I'll tell you my story, um, those who know it already know what happened, but those who didn't, like me, can use this as a cautionary tale. Basically what happened was, I was at an Arby's, waiting in line for my big beefy cheddar sandwich, and there was this woman across, across the way, just standing in line, and she approached me as I was waiting for my order. And this is pretty common at Arby's, you know, people like to stop and chat. It's a very social place. But this woman, clearly six, seven months pregnant, seemed desperate. It was a bit unusual. Now, what had happened was, as she explained it to me, is that the previous month, she had, uh, she had hooked up with another Arby's customer. I guess what had happened was she, she claimed that this man had ordered the same sandwich as her, which is very rare in the Arby's world. And uh, they got to talking, and they went to the Arby's bathroom, and, you know, they, they, they had a little fun. They had a little bit of Arby's fun. No one can judge them for that. You know, that's what Arby's bathroom is for. Now, the problem, she explained to me, came after. You see, they sort of hooked up. Uh, they never met up. And they said, you know, they, you know, it was a one-time thing. It was an affair of passion. But she discovered she was pregnant hours later. She had told me she had been coming back to the Arby's every day, uh, looking for people who ordered the same sandwich, thinking that maybe she could find the father and sort of reconnect. Well, it turns out I was the only customer who ordered the same sandwich, and she had been there for... For, for three weeks straight, she said. So she approached me, you know, just sort of an attempt to find closure, right? You know, I felt a little bad. Uh, those who know the scam obviously know what's coming next, and I feel incredibly stupid to have fallen for this. But anyway, uh, she, she basically tells me that if I buy her five cheddar sandwiches, beef and cheddar sandwiches, she'll send me the baby in the mail. Now, you know, in my head, I'm thinking, well, that's a good deal. You know, I buy some Arby's, get some points on my Arby's rewards. I got a baby. It's probably worth more than a few Arby's sandwiches, right? I, I give her my address. I buy her the burgers. I go home. About a month passes. I don't hear anything from her. That was, that was last week, the, when the month officially passed, right? Now, I'm a little concerned. It's not, that's, that's expensive. Arby's is not a poor man's meal, you know? I can't afford all that Arby's without getting something in return. So I go back and I see her. She's given the same sob story to another unsuspecting yokel. So I approach, I say, hey, ma'am, where's my baby? And she goes, ha, you've fallen for the classic baby scam. And right then and there is when I knew she had got me. She told me, she said, I'm not even pregnant, I'm just fat. And you know, the guy, obviously she lost that guy, he ran off. And she was like, you owe me five, five cheddar sandwiches because you ruined my mark. So, you know, I, I, I obviously, I knew better now, I left, but it was devastating. I was expecting it to, to get a baby. I was expecting to, to, uh, you know, raise a, a child who could eat Arby's with me. It was, it was terrible, terrible loss, I felt. And I just knew I'd uh, make a video, share my story, and tell you a few of the, 
the signs, maybe help you unsuspecting guys like me, guys and girls like me, to uh, avoid this sort of scam in the future. Uh, the first thing I should mention is she seemed six, seven months pregnant, you know, and uh, she had also mentioned in the story she, she, she got pregnant a month ago. So that didn't add up. That was on me. I should have done the math, you know, uh, yeah, she wasn't pregnant, but you know, she, she had a big stomach. I, I should have like, make sure the math checks out. That's the number one tip. If it's off by a few months, if she looks like, you know, she looks like she's ready to burst and she tells you it was like a week ago, she, she, she got pregnant, you know, maybe, maybe walk away, maybe buy those sandwiches, eat them yourself. The second big tip is uh, if you see a lady approach you in the Arby's line, and she offers you a baby in return for sandwiches. I found out that's not that's not a common thing for mothers to do. Usually, if they feel they can't raise a baby, they'll give it up for adoption, or, or maybe they'll uh, sell it. You know, something like that. It's basically there are other avenues. They usually wouldn't they wouldn't jump straight to trading it for Arby's. You know, I love Arby's, but I guess that's just not a common thing to do. So that's another thing to look out for. If, if she offers to trade her baby for Arby's. You might be falling for the classic baby scam. The most important thing to remember from all of this, even steps one and two, is, you know, just just don't trade for babies, honestly. Just if you want to adopt, go through the proper channels, meet some agencies, maybe make an informed decision. You know I'm saying if you're at an Arby's or a, or a Denny's or a Taco Bell at 2 a.m., which is where I frequent, do not uh, trade babies, all right? Just just if you're feeling like you want to be a dad or a mom, just go down to the local uh, sperm bank, I, I, maybe the hospital, I don't know, sperm bank's what came to my mind, but uh, ask them for information, call a professional, all right? And if you really want this Arby's baby, okay? Because nine out of 10 times it's a scam, but sometimes it is a, a an actual offer, and you know, I know some people who who want to risk that chance. They don't want that baby growing up without a father. That all you gotta do is ask the woman to come with you to the hospital. All right, that's a trick. I should have done this because they can confirm whether or not she's pregnant. Okay, now this is this is very hard. It doesn't come to your mind either. This only came to me after advice from my loved ones, after looking up other people who have fallen for the same scam. Uh, so just be wary and I know it sucks that we can't just trust people anymore because they they pull uh, They pull things like this. They mess with our heartstrings pull our heartstrings. They mess with our hearts They they take our hearts and they just they squeeze it into an Arby shaped patty and put it between two buns and just just eat it All right, and that's not great. And that's I, I hope I hope you guys don't have to deal with anything like this And I hope this video helped uh, helped you understand that if you do fall for the classic baby scam, it's not the end of the world, okay? All right? That's not coming until June 2nd, 2032, all right? So if it's not that day, don't worry. You'll be fine. You can move on. The classic baby scam gets a lot of people, and they go on to live full, enriching lives even after it even though, you know, they get a little ridicule, okay? So thank you for watching. I hope you gleaned something from this. I hope I hope you, you learned not to just trust, and I hope you learn to, to really do your research. Uh, my normal content will be coming soon, Archie breakdowns, all that stuff. I know this was a little bit out of the loop, but you know, it's just, it's been a rough week. Uh, I've been dealing with a lot of fallout. I had to cancel a lot of like baby showers, gender reveal. Uh, I got a, all that. It was terrible. One last tip. One last tip, okay? Uh, twins are very rare. So if they, they say it's twins, it's not. It's, a, it's, a, it's the classic baby scam. But you got to pay good money for twins, okay? If they say it's twins, they're lying. Kill them.